All right, here we are again with another video about the movies we've watched. 30 minutes or less, what did you think about that one? Um, well, I thought that the scenario was so not so unbelievable that I couldn't really get into the movie because I just kept thinking, why don't they go to the police? They're innocent. Instead, they're going to commit a crime. I don't know. I mean, it was there were some funny parts, and I like Jesse Eisenberg, but... I don't Nick Swardson's funny. Yeah, I just couldn't really get into the movie because the main part of the movie just didn't make sense. I don't understand the appeal of what's in Danny McBride. I've never really gotten why yeah. people think he's funny. Same thing with Aziz Ansari. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, a, like always like, ah, oh, man. Yeah, poor <laughs> man's Chris Tucker. But, uh, yeah, you couldn't suspend disbelief. It was like... Why wouldn't you go to the police? Right. Why wouldn't you... I know, like, they're watching him or whatever, but why wouldn't he tell his friend, go to the police? Why wouldn't you text anyone and be like, help me, like... Our idiot brother. That was good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was better than I thought it would be, so... And it was good. I liked it. I it was, thought all the, the cast was all really good. Yeah, Elizabeth Banks, what's her name, was really good in it. Um... Rashida Jones, Zoe. Well, she Deschanel. was okay, but no, the um, Emily, Emily Mortimer. Mortimer. Yeah, she almost seemed like she was acting in a different movie because she was on a whole other league. Like uh, Zoe Deschanel just sort of did her whatever, thing. the thing that she does all the time. <laughs> Elizabeth Banks was wearing this crazy wig. It was very distracting. It's an awful wig. I don't know why they didn't just have her with her real hair. Maybe because she's blonde and like they wanted them all to be, be brunettes. I don't know bad wig. But it's about how Paul Rudd is this well-meaning guy who basically trusts people too much and the movie begins with him selling weed to a uniformed police <laughs> officer. And there's a really funny part with his probation officer where he's like, I don't know, whatever. It's a good when he movie. first meets his probation officer, it's hilarious. But, uh... But like you were saying, like, we thought there were some things maybe missing from the movie, like... There was a lot, it seemed... Yeah. It was, it, first of all, it was under 90 minutes, and it was released by the Weinsteins, who are no notorious for really scissoring the shit out of the movies. So, like, um, I think that that movie should have been, like, another 30 minutes. They probably shot a lot of footage. We watched some of the deleted scenes, and it was interesting because some guy who has this, like, running storyline in the deleted scenes used to watch Ricky Shore on Funny yeah. or Die, which is pretty funny. He was, he was in The Animal for a second. I, he made some videos called Chip Seinfeld. I don't remember the guy's name. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, Our Idiot Brother was good. Yeah. It, was, it was sweet, um, and it made me laugh a couple times. It wasn't amazing, and it was a little bit hard to follow because we thought there was some shit edited out. Right. It kind of goes <laughs> for like a Judd Apatow feel of like um, silly but not over the top. Right. and, and like Yeah, and like grounded in human, human emotion. And Steve Coogan's in it, who's really, really funny. Yeah. Um, Attack the Block. I like this movie a lot. You didn't watch this one. This was... I've been hearing about it for, I don't know, the last year, nonstop. And uh, it's directed... I think his name's Joe Cornish. And it's produced by guys that produced Shaun of the Dead and the guy... What's his name? Nick Frost or something. He's in Attack the Block. But it's about these um, aliens that invade, like, this UK housing project. And there are these, like, little punk kids they have to kind of like I don't know go against the aliens and it's uh uses a lot of practical effects like the it's like people in these suits rather than CGI aliens and um I thought it was uh definitely a, it has a lot of like the characters are, are likable I like them um this movie sucked we watched yeah. about 20 minutes of it Atlas, Atlas Shrugged. Shrugged oh my god it was so boring <laughs> yeah I had to watch it because my dad was really into Atlas Shrugged and um so I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch what they made, and um, I mean the book. If you had made the book faithfully, it would cost like, you know, hundred million dollars. But um, they wanted to go the sci-fi channel route. This producer who had the rights, you know, he was only gonna have them for like another couple months, so he rushed this movie into production, which only adapts uh, the first part of the book. But, and it was so fucking boring. Well, right? also, they have the movie take place in the future, but <laughs> the whole thing is about the railroad industry. Right, it was retarded. If you're going to have, have it take place in the future, <laughs> then have it be at least airplanes or jets or something new. Not the railroad industry, I don't know. Yeah, it was a Weird. terrible Or movie. if you're going to do the railroad industry, then have it take place in the past. And what did you say? It was like sitting in meetings? Yeah, it was, I felt like I was sitting in a bunch of meetings. Yeah, and boring. like poorly staged soundstage shots. 
of like you know someone's office with like a weird blue light coming out of the window like if someone had a really nice office they'd like be they looking out onto the city or looking out on right. a nice scenic atmosphere they wouldn't have like some blue lit bulge like this looks like a star trek set <laughs> but uh yeah it's a terrible movie um just awful we we, we turned Turn it off on. okay this next movie i've been i'd been told by everybody to watch this and um i finally a serbian film this is like this is how I feel about the human centipede too. It's like these movies are just so obnoxious. I don't really care about them. They're poorly made. Like the um first of all the subtitles in a Serbian film are hilarious. <laughs> They're like um who is the doctor we have to thank to. Really? Like they just don't make Absolutely. sense a lot of them. And um so you can kind of that the the quality of the subtitles reflects the quality of the filmmaking. Um, you know, it has this crazy twist where, spoiler, the guy, like, fucks his kid, but, um, <laughs> whatever. I mean, it's like, if a movie is poorly made and just kind of silly B va movie values, um, like, it's not going to be as it's emotionally... It's disturbing or scary. Right, it's kind of like a troll on the internet. It's like... Right. Annoying. Right. Um, so anyway, and then the next movie, which was decent wasn't a masterpiece or anything, but The Devil's Double. Yeah. The, I thought, I enjoyed it. I mean, it had kept me watching. Is the, well, who's banging around? I'm, I'm sorry, neighbor. it's so fucking annoying. I want to, like, go out there and fucking yell at him. The guy doesn't know how to, like, close the door behind him. Like, our neighbor just slams the door. Sometimes I feel like he goes out and gets groceries or some shit and like carries Slams back it five times. like you know he, he goes up and down to carry one grocery bag yeah. i don't understand it and he slams the door every single time he comes in it's like oh, did, don't do you want to ruin the door and the door handle's always like shaken off it's like broken and shit like always and they always have to fix it but then it goes back i wonder if it's because he slams it anyway okay the devil's double it was uh what's it, the main actor's name <sighs> Dominic Cooper. He was he, awesome. Yeah, he was really good in it, and he plays two roles. And it's about Uday Hussein, and he get, he forces this guy to be his body double, and they give him plastic surgery. And it's supposedly based on a true right. story. But, but then we googled the guy. Latif. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, there was some article in a British paper, like basically the saying that he's untrustworthy and he can't prove anything he says. He so. makes all kinds of outlandish claims. I I um copy and pasted a little snippet from that article into my blog when I reviewed the Devil's, uh, Devil's Double. But it did say that some of the things that they show him doing in the movie, he had a reputation like for doing Uday those Hussein. Things. Right. Um, and it was okay, but anyway, he plays these two roles and you, you don't really, you can't tell. Um, I mean, you can... They you can look exactly, they're they look, supposed to look alike because he's supposed to be his double. Yeah, but you never um, get confused, never confused about who's who. Right, because his acting's impeccable. Yeah, and he is... Um, he played uh, Tony Stark's father in the Captain America movie, and he was in an education, and he's he's kind of being groomed by Australian Hollywood. Is he Australian or New he's Zealand? He's from the UK. Oh, okay. But, um, and that's what The Devil's Double is not a Hollywood film. I think it got funding through, like, the UK or some other country, I think, maybe. But um, it's directed by this guy who directed uh, James Bond, some one of the James Bond movies. And it's 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 fast-paced, and it's, it's good. The guy's really good in it. And... Um, I'd recommend it, but it's it's not a masterpiece. Anyway, all right. I don't know. Not nothing really that great to report. <clears throat> Attack the block. Our idiot brother. brother. Those are the highlights.